Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you have never been here before, please like, share, and subscribe and join my weird little tarot family. If you guys want a personal reading, info's in the description box below. It's the month of November here in the States and to celebrate that and to show gratitude to you guys and to our ancestors, I'm doing ancestral lineage readings every day this month at 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Set your reminders and your notification bells. Today, I'm gonna do something a little bit different, all right? I've got the Ancestral Path Tarot right here. I'm going to pull one card for each sign. These cards are huge, first of all. I cannot even shuffle these bitches. And it's 50 degrees out here, and your girl is in the low country, grounded into nature, to bring you these messages right around Halloween when the veil is thin. These cards are massive, all right? I'm gonna pull one for each sign, and it's an energy that I want y'all to be thinking about today. All right, and what you're doing with that energy, all right? Are you using it, are you not? Is it helping you or is it hindering you, all right? So I'm going to start with Aries and see what we got here. First of all, there's a giant mother of pearl on here. These are pearls of wisdom. There are all different ethnicities in this deck. Every color, shape, size, whatever, all right? So this represents everyone around the world today. It is not one lineage specific deck. It's everyone all mixed together from the dawn of time to now. All right, what's Aries card today? The seven of swords in the reverse, all right? Let me take a minute to look at this, all right? First of all, big Japanese energy on this one. Honorable, all right? Japanese culture, like very much holds in high regard honor and your word and being honest and speaking the truth and doing right all right doing just stuff this person right here all right he is happy about deceiving somebody he's done something here he's given this person a sword i feel like that's defective he gives me used car salesman vibes here you see the people in the background that have one of the swords and he's looking at them like, ha ha, I'm getting one over on you. You got this in the reverse, all right? You guys need to be careful about manipulation right now, being deceived. Also, if you're making any purchases, be very careful. I see five pentacles up on that roof right there. Y'all, I'm an art reader. I'm gonna channel the hell of the art on these. Five pentacles on that roof right there. Be careful what you're letting into your house. It could rob you blind, all right? There's some kind of an energy or something we're not being honest with ourselves about. Something that's gonna leave us feeling very much left out in the cold here, all right? Also, beware of strangers bearing gifts. Do not trust anything. If it's too good to be true, it is. A lot of y'all aren't wanting to be honest also as well about what, uh, a financial situation here, I feel like. A lot of y'all need to be very careful what you're spending your money on, Aries. Also know that if anyone was deceitful to you or did anything to you, they will. it will come back, all right? You can't hide from the truth. I need to tell you that. Give me a message for Leo. What's Leo's card today? Leo, you have the 10 of sacred circles, the 10 of pentacles. I just got that, like, if you guys watch Game of Thrones, all right? The lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Look at this. Winter is coming. Ten of Pentacles energy. Look at all those houses. They're all warm. They're all lit. They're all protected. They're all, you know, surviving. They're all a group though, all right? Combining resources is going to be important for you guys. Also, full moon energy here. When the full moon comes around, you guys need to be releasing whatever it is that does not serve you. I feel like winter might be a little bit scarce for some of you guys coming up. You need to be very careful about your resources and what you're doing with them. Make sure you're feeding you and your own before you're handing anything else out. Also, if you have extra at this time, make sure you're giving to your community. There's a need for community with you guys, like coming together as a collective with y'all's energy. There's a need to depend on other people, all right? And other people might need to be depending on you. But there's safety in numbers, all right? I need to tell you that. All right, what's Sag's card today? What's the card for Sagittarius today? judgment wow y'all need to be taking a look at yourself in the mirror okay what do you see when you look at yourself in the mirror are you happy about it if you were snatched up to the spirit realm today would you be glad about all the decisions that you're making 
Are you making all of your decisions in line with your higher self? Are you judging yourself too hard, all right? All right, I feel like there's a decision also that you've been putting off. Look at that, it's like um, the mirror within the mirror within the mirror within the mirror. Y'all have been looking at this too hard, all right? I feel like you haven't been making the decision that you need to make. We need to go ahead and make those final decisions during Scorpio season. If you don't, they will be made for you in the form of a tower moment or something very uncomfortable. Judgment calls need to be made at this time of the year and they need to be followed through on. Don't be, you know, there's no room for gray area with whatever this is that I'm picking up for you guys. It needs to be a cut and dry, yes or no. All the way in, all the way out. No confusion on that. All right, let's do earth signs. Let me do Virgo. Virgo. What do we got for Virgo today? What's the message for Virgo today? Virgo, you get temperance. We got Native American indigenous energy on this one. Being balanced, all right? You need to be balancing your emotions, all right? With your stability. Like, you're... She's got one foot on the ground, all right? One foot in the water. There's an emotional situation that's throwing y'all off, all right? You're either pouring too much emotion into it or you're not pouring enough. Either way, all right, there's a balance that needs to be had here. It's off for you guys. Also, y'all need to get back to your roots. You need to get very rooted. You need to get very grounded. Take your damn shoes off. I don't care how cold it is and put your feet in the dirt. A lot of y'all need to come back to earth, all right? You've been way too in your feels about something. It's not as complicated as you think it is, all right? Natives don't need a lot of shit to survive. They can survive off the land. A lot of y'all are too emotionally codependent on whatever this is. You don't need it, all right? You have everything you need to survive. You need to realize that. You're also making a mountain out of a molehill, some of y'all, I need to say, you know, say that to you. There's a need to come back down to earth, Virgo. Taurus. Give me the card for Taurus today. What does Taurus need to know today? What does Taurus need to know today? The nine of cups in the reverse. This, it, it's not Christ's supper, but it looks like it. I just got Judas and like disciples and all that stuff coming 13. I don't know why. This is King Arthur's court though, all right? This is people dancing. Nine of Cups energy, all right? That's feeling like you're good on your own, like the king doesn't need a queen. It's in the reverse for you, all right? A lot of y'all are tired of putting on airs about something. There's a big freaking show going on, all right, for someone's amusement here. I don't really like this Nine of Cups energy. This guy's, you know, it's almost like he makes people just do things. It, somebody, like strings you along emotionally for their amusement is what I'm picking up with this. It's like they dangle that cup there and they never really intend on giving it. They make you dance around for it. They make you do tricks for it. They make you try too hard, all right? You're having to prove yourself on an emotional level. Please don't. Whatever that is, y'all, remove yourself from that situation. This is like a, I don't, I don't like this. Also, a lot of you are afraid to put your emotions on display. Somebody's singing for their supper. What the hell is this? Somebody's making you like beg for affection. Like, you see the cup down here? There's the ace of cups that you need for the 10. Someone's having to like sing for their fucking supper or like prove their worth here. Please don't allow anyone to make you do that, Taurus. Give me a message for Capricorn. That one made me feel icky. Give me a message for Capricorn. Three of Cups. Some of y'all getting married. He's asking like, look, he's begging daddy. A lot of y'all need to be, <laughs> do your parents like who you're with? Like some of y'all have some family beef, all right? You choose partners that your parents don't like or you're about to. A lot of y'all are afraid to go home for the holidays for some reason. There's a little bit of a hesitancy, but I think it's going to be okay. I think you're making a bigger deal out of it than you think. Some of y'all are wondering whether or not you should bring your significant other home for the holidays. I don't know why I need to bring that up. All right. A lot of y'all though, there is a need to like discuss things with your family, especially about your relationships. 
I feel like a lot of your families don't understand your relationships or why you involve yourself with these energies. Maybe just talking to them would clear some of that up. I feel like a lot of them are really confused. They're thinking things that aren't true, all right? A lot of y'all, it's time to come out of hiding. I feel like a lot of y'all have had secret relationships, all right, that need to come to the forefront. Y'all need to go ahead and bring those out into the open. I don't think it's as secret as you think it is. All right, let's do air. What do you got for Gemini? What do you got for Gemini today? What's Gemini's card today? The magician in the reverse. That's your energy. <laughs> He's holding the damn staff like the wand in his hand and like looking like he wants to beat somebody with it. Are you manifesting for the right reasons, Gemini? Infinity, what you, you know, you reap what you sow with this. The wand is driving this. The passion is driving this. It was in the reverse, which means the ego is driving this. Y'all are in manifest mode. You can call in whatever the hell you want, but you better make sure that you're calling in something for the right reasons. If you're calling in revenge or if you're calling in karma or if you're asking something like that, you're going to get it back, all right? Don't be doing that, all right? Also, be careful what you wish for in times of, like, anger. Think more clearly about what you manifest. I feel like you guys are the case of the accidental manifestation here. Your words hold more power than you think they do, all right? So does your energy. I feel like you're just manifesting from a very chaotic standpoint. It's like what I always get whenever I see, feel this energy, all right? It's like on um, Harry Potter when he says diagonally instead of Diagon Alley. And he ends up in Nocturne Alley with all the <laughs> criminals and shit. You'd be very specific, all right? Manifesting is what I need to warn you guys about. Very specific. Also, don't let fear hold you back. I feel like um, there's a lot of a wounded ego pride thing going on with you guys that we need to be aware of. All right, give me one for Libra. What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Libra? The eight of sacred circles, eight of pentacles in the reverse. She's like got a hoop here. She's making something. She's a master craftsman. A lot of you guys feel like things are just not coming together or you're not getting the hang of something, all right? You feel like your efforts aren't being seen. You feel like giving up, all right? Things are too hard. They're not workable. It's going to be very personal to you guys whether or not there should be any more effort put into this situation. I feel like you're at some kind of a standstill. You're going to need to make the decision to cut or run here or, you know, cut and run or, you know, put in more effort. I do feel like you're close to getting to where you want to be here. I feel like you're also waiting on somebody else to come around and help you with this. I don't feel like it's something that anyone else can help you with. I feel like it's something you got to take care of on your own. So if you're waiting on um, someone to save you, please don't. All right, Aqua, what's going on with Aquarius? All right, what's going on with Aquarius today? What's going on with Aquarius today? Three of swords in the reverse. Someone's going off into battle, man. Like, first of all, some of y'all's family misses you. Some of y'all's family's worried about some choices that you've made, all right? They feel like you're fighting a losing battle or they feel like you're self-sacrificing here. This Three of Swords energy is very much about self-sacrificing. It came out in the reverse. I like, are we playing the victim? I mean, what's going on here? A lot of y'all, whatever this pain is, some of y'all are starting to realize that it's of your own doing. Like you went into that battle knowing you were going to lose. A lot of y'all also aren't willing to go and fight for what it is that you want, all right? I feel like there is a broken heart situation here. And I feel like somebody has the power to go and fix it. But I feel like somebody's not really wanting to do that in the reverse here. Somebody doesn't want to risk it, all right? A lot of y'all need to talk to your parents about something. Or th there's something they need to discuss with you. It's a choice that was made that they're not feeling too, you know, great about. I feel like you need to ease their mind about whatever that is. Weird one, Aquas. All right, let's do water. Pisces. What's the message for Pisces today? 
What's the message for Pisces today? What message do you have for Pisces today? The princess of sacred circles. All this pinnacle energy coming up for everyone today. See, y'all got the page of, you know, pentacles in the reverse. There's a little baby on here. Native energy again. A lot of y'all are going through like some scarcity, all right? A lot of y'all have, I'm just gonna be real with you what I've felt. First of all, like y'all are having a hard time learning how, how, you, how we gonna feed the kids when winter comes. A lot of y'all are wondering where your next meal is coming from, all right? There's a lot of scarcity that I'm picking up with this. You're afraid that you haven't, you know, done what you need to do for winter. You're afraid you haven't sown the right seeds here. You're also waiting on return on something. You're waiting for a return on an investment. And I feel like a lot is riding on it, all right? A lot of y'all are waiting on communication about a child, all right? There's a, there's a family situation that's being ignored. I got to call it like I see it. That baby looked in that mama. They look like they are waiting on someone's ass to get home. In the reverse, they ain't coming home. Like some of y'all need to go have a talk with baby moms. A lot of y'all do not want to have a conversation with a mother figure, all right? A lot of y'all are dreading that. I suggest you get that done though, all right? That needs to happen. That energy was rubbing me the wrong way. Something was going on there. Somebody's withholding resources either from you, Pisces. It's like, I feel like someone's hiding resources from you. They need to cough them up, all right? There needs to be a discussion about that. If you're in a place of lack right now, you need to ask for help as well. Don't be afraid to do that. All right, what about cancer? Give me a message for cancer. Give me a message for cancer. What messages do you have for cancer today? Justice, fuck yeah. Look, y'all have been stuck in something. I have never seen a justice card with a snake wrapped around her legs. And y'all are welcoming whatever this justice is with open arms. You've got Libra energy here. You also have yin and yang. Everything balances itself out. Everything balances itself out. You have been stuck somewhere for a long time, Cancers, all right? Unable to move, waiting on a decision to be made. You've washed your hands of whatever it is, all right? You already know you've done whatever you can do here. Karma is at play. Things will balance out the dark with the light. The light's coming, all right? You've been in the dark. You've been bound by whatever this is. You're getting some serious karmic justice here, big time. The scales have been laid down here on the side. There's this book wide open. Something is being resurrected. I don't know why I'm feeling that. You guys have summoned up some karma of some sort. It's creeping in slow, all right? And you don't feel it. Cancer's about to get... <laughs> Cancer is about to get what is coming to them. And I feel like it's a good thing. <clears throat> You're getting some movement. Also, don't be afraid if you have to, you know, move your crab shell here. Y'all have come too comfortable where you're at. Something's coming in to change that. You've been stuck too long. Justice is being served to get you moving, I feel like. All right, what's the message for Scorpio? And then we'll do one for the collective. What do you got for Scorpio? Prince of Staves, all right? That is the Page of Swords, or no, Knight of Swords. God, Knight of Swords. All right, cool. Scorpio's got their mindset on something. Egyptian energy here. Young Pharaoh energy. Y'all got a plan and you're putting it into motion, all right? Egyptians did the most amazing fucking shit, all right? How the hell do they build these pyramids without any machinery? Y'all have a plan that seems crazy to some people, all right? Some people don't even see how this could be possible or how you could carry this out. But you are calm, cool, and collected. You know damn well that you're going to get this accomplished. Stay true to whatever it is that you've got mapped out in your mind, no matter how crazy people tell you it is. You will accomplish, like, insane things here. Scorpios are rebirthing something nuts during Scorpio season. <laughs> a lot of people are going to wonder, you know, be asking you, like, how you did that. 
it's like an unbelievable feat that you're you set your sights on and i feel like you're gonna achieve it all right also i feel like you need to tap into some egyptian energy look up whatever this look up this bird here i forget what the meaning of it is it, he's a god though a god or a goddess i forget which one you need to look into that energy figure out what that is i feel like that energy is very um pertinent to you right now all right give me a collective message give me a message for the collective what's the message for the collective today the nine of sacred circles in the reverse more nine energy all right nine of pentacles energy in the reverse some of y'all are holding on to a fucking grudge like no other let it go she's a medicine woman all right she is brave she has like it looks like a hawk here first of all a lot of you need to go see your elders you need there's some stuff that you're forgetting all right that was taught to you by your grandmother specifically you forgot about that shit you've let that go you need to bring that back into focus whatever that is that you learned also a lot of you need to be taking a rest you you're not meditating enough you're not spending enough time alone your spirituality needs attention here, okay? I feel like you're not making enough time for that. You need to do that. I feel like a lot of you are wanting love to come in, but you don't have everything you need but love here. You're missing something, all right? You're not all the way balanced energetically. A lot of y'all need to be careful while you're smoking, all right? Some of y'all might be hitting it a little too hard. All those berries in there, all right? A lot of y'all need to, you know, confront some stuff from the past. Let some stuff, you know, there's some stuff that needs to resurface that we've been hanging on to. We need to bring that to the forefront and deal with it. I feel like if you have some kind of a ritual burning things at the full moon, if you're holding on to any like, you know, letters from your ex or any like, you know, crap that you, mementos, whatever, have a big ass bonfire, you know, let that shit go up in flames, out with the old, in with the new. Y'all are, this is something we gotta let go of collective, all right? We've been hanging on to it too long to the point where I feel like it's poisoning us to some extent. Let that go. Let go and let the gods deal with that. All right, y'all. Two, 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 two. When I finished. Ah, beautiful. That's when it's time to show my gratitude to you guys and say thank you so much for growing my channel this year. I never thought when I posted my first video in January that this would be a job and that I could stay home with my kids and just be a mom. All right. Y'all made all my dreams come true and forever I will be grateful and show my gratitude to you guys. So I love you. See you next time. Bye.